Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 27th. Although this is time stamped for the week of March 27th, um, these readings are timeless. You will come across this video um, when there's a message in this video for you. Um, so, oh, wow, lots of messages wanting to pop out for Sag. What do we got going on here? Again, this is a timeless reading. So when you come across this reading is m when there is a message in this reading for you. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if anything in this video resonates, please leave a comment. We always appreciate those comments. Um, and sometimes it's just leaving a supportive comment, a comment on something that uh, you may find helpful or supportive for a fellow Sagittarius. And sometimes it's writing your own best advice. We love that. We love that. You know, who can be more supportive to a Sagittarius than another Sagittarius? And so this is Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. Or honestly, if you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart, please, Spirit, what is the message for Sagittarius? I will never uh, contact you. Or excuse me, let's start from the beginning. Or maybe not from the beginning, but um, if you would like a personal reading, please email me at the email address provided. Um, I will never contact you first. Always you contact me first via email. If anybody does contact you saying that they are me, please know that they are not me, that they are probably a scammer. Ooh, Ooh big dreams and making the magic happen. That sounds so Sagittarius. Two more cards for Sagittarius, please. Two more cards. Oh my gosh, what is on the table for the Sagittarius? If this is your first time stopping into my channel, um, usually this first row here um, is for your professional life, for your business life, um, how you make your money, uh, business, uh, career, work, job, um, your professional you, the work that you are, the way you are portraying yourself into the public, your public life. And then this would be your private life, um, family, home, friends, partnerships. That's a lot of cards. We can't do that. Um, family, friends, partnerships. Um, yes, your private life, your personal life, your inner you. And then this final row here, that final row is um, final advice, final words, final thoughts, uh, conclusion, final message. One more card for Sagittarius. Please spare it. One more card for Sagittarius. What is the message for Sagittarius? One more card for Sagittarius. Thank you. I think that one really wanted to pop out. Oh, and I love that card. Isn't that a beautiful card? What a nice read for you, Sagittarius. Stay focused. Underlying message, underlying current, underlying thoughts. Focus in. Stay focused. You know, when a Sagittarius is zeroed in and focused in on something, just like the archer hitting the bullseye, you have the ability to stay focused. Focus in on what it is. Stay focused. Stay focused. You you have something in mind. You have something in mind, Sagittarius, and that's good. Let me make sure that that zoomed in. That is a uh, you know that it, that focus. That is so Sagittarius. Okay. What is the message? that we would like to share with Sagittarius. Uh, you know, things on are not always, and again, this is, you know, maybe you're feeling a bit of uh, dissatisfaction or you're coming from a place of dissatisfaction or maybe just a discontentment. It's not always about 
but a discontentment. Maybe, you know, you have a good job, a good career, a good business, things are going the way that you would like to, to go, or you thought things are going the way that you would have liked them to go, but it's not quite what you envisioned. It's not quite your work life, your professional life, your career, your chosen path, why it's it's rewarding and it's bringing you what you would have thought or what you had hoped and it's paying out like you thought it was going to pay out you're finding a little finding that maybe that maybe there's a better decision for you maybe there's a better choice maybe there's a better path for you that it's not quite what you thought it was going to be and I don't know if that was a new job a new career maybe uh, you, you, you started uh, school or education or an apprenticeship or you started something like that and it's It's, it's what you thought it was going to be, but how you thought it was going to be for you internally maybe is different. And maybe you're wanting to maybe just tweak that or change that. That why it, it's not bringing you where you would like it to bring you. It's not the end game or the end situation is not bringing you where you would like to go. And sometimes that's something that we have changed or we've grown, we've matured, we've changed. Sorry about that, Sagittarius. said we're just going to pick up right where we left off. Oh my gosh. And so where were we? Making that, yes, things in your professional life, things in your public life, they're good, they're good, but something internally, something in you has changed, and maybe you would like to tweak that, change that, you know, you know, and a, a good way to do that is by investing in yourself. Investing in yourself. You know, uh, growing spiritually, um, looking for that inner wisdom, um, starting a class, starting some kind of education, looking for an apprenticeship, something along that lines. Alexa, pause music. Something along that lines. and not focusing in on what is not quite what we thought it was. What is not quite what you thought it was, the outcome, the payoff isn't quite what you thought it was going to be, although it's rewarding. You're looking to make a change. You're wanting more. You're wanting to move forward. You know, that opportunity is coming in for you, Sagittarius. You have an opportunity coming in for you that is more in line, more in tune with your new outlook, your new you're looking for that new venture and that opportunity for that new venture is going to come in for you. You are going to move forward um, and that opportunity may actually come from what you're doing now. I think if, if, if you can be open and honest with whoever or whatever you are dealing with, whether it be a boss, a, a supervisor, or even a co-worker, 
or if you're in business for yourself, you look for other business partners, somebody to partner in with you. And that may be just enough of a change, just enough of a change for what you're looking for. And you're going to be able to jump on that opportunity. I mean, it could be as simple as maybe you're thinking that everything about this uh, job is perfect. Everything about this work is perfect. Everything about this business is per perfect, except you want to move. And you happen to mention that to a boss, a supervisor, a coworker, a client, and you happen to mention it that, oh, yes, and I think that opportunity is going to present itself. I think that opportunity is going to pre present itself. And Sagittarius, when that opportunity presents itself, don't overthink. Just jump on it. You've been wanting this. You've been waiting for this. And this is more in tune with who you're going to, what you have in uh, vision for your professional life. Go for it, Sagittarius. Go, go, go. And then. There is, you've been putting in a lot of work in a personal relationship, Sagittarius. You have been putting in a lot of work, and that work that you've been putting in was work You had big dreams, big hopes. Something is not as it appears. Something is not as it appears to be. You've been putting in the work and you're not getting equal reciprocity on that and you're ready to move forward. You're ready to put that behind you. You. And especially in um, very personal, very private relationships, in partnerships, in marriages, in boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend, when we are looking for that connection, many times what Times what we do Sagittarius is we fall in love with an illusion we fall in love with who we think that person is and we fall in love with the idea or the vision of what our life is going to be with that person how we are going to be with that person and I think at this time, Sagittarius, you have been putting in the work. You've been carrying your load. And it's been unequally yoked. And this person is not the person that they presented themselves to be. This is not the person that you see yourself going forward with. And it's okay to leave that person behind. You've put in the work. You've put in the dues. It is you're moving on without any regrets, without looking back. You don't care what it is that you're leaving behind. You don't care, you know, and I think that in many times in relationships, we all get to that. It's like, I'm leaving that behind. I don't care. That was a false uh, benefit that that person was uh, bringing to your life. Good for you, Sagittarius. Final message moving forward for Sagittarius. Big dreams, big act, big dreams, big goals. Dreaming too big to be true. But you have that magic. You have the skill set. You'll have the knowledge. You have what it takes to move forward with this and be successful at that. Putting in your dues, paying your dues, those battle scars, and... The universe is bringing you in a gift. 
So dream big, Sagittarius. Know that you have the, the magic within yourself and putting in that hard work and you will reach your goals and your intentions and make those final adjustments. You, you can do this, Sagittarius. You can do this. This is that personal thing. That is just a minor bump in the road. You, you put your intent, you set your intentions, you put your intentions out there and you give it voice and you let the universe know and those around you know what you would like to have happen in your life and they will help you make that happen. You'll be able to move forward on this new grandiose adventure, put in the work and it will pay off for you. And that's the message that I have for Sagittarius today. And so please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment if you would like to leave it a comment. If you would like a personal reading, please email me at the address provided. Remember, I will not contact you first. You always contact me first. If anybody reaches out to you saying that they are me, they are not me. And you have a fantastic week, Sagittarius.